What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Messy Workbench. My name is Valor, and this time I've got a thing. This is the core hybrid kit for the Retaliator and Recon Mark II from Orange Mod Works. This is one of the uh, ones that I've backed through the uh, Project Orange funding thing. And, uh, yes, it finally came in after they had a small issue with some of the uh, kits having o-rings falling off because they were uh, not big enough or something um, but I finally got mine they did meet their shipping deadline pretty darn well and uh, yeah uh, the presentation is really really nice the whole box is sort of plasticized cardboard you see on the side here just warnings and everything modifying blaster may wear out or damage components product contains plastic wrapping just don't put over your head or whatever, don't aim eyes or face, obviously. And yes, they have a really nice sort of picture of a clear retaliator shell, which I wish was a real thing. I mean, I know the clear recon uh, shell is a thing, but having something this th really clear would be beautiful. I would love it. Um, just giving some FPS sort of readings. And uh, yeah, uh, links for following them on uh, Facebook and Twitter and their site, who helped design it and all that. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing open. It is a nice little tray style. It's a little bit snug. Get that out of here. And a small orange Modworks business card fell out. Nice matte black with a shiny bit there. And just saying for instructions and all that, go to orangemodworks.com slash guides. Uh, yeah. Everything's in a bag, and the inside of the tray is really nicely presented. Uh, if I, I think this is a second, separate piece of uh, cardboard. Yep, it is. There we go. Just showing you everything that's in the kit. Uh, I might just actually hang this on my wall or something, because I always need new art for my workshop. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just telling you everything that's in there. I'm going to open my knife. And you can see on my bag where it was resealed, uh, where they replaced the whole thing. Oh, it's got a tear bit. Huh. Well, if I fail at this, I'll just bring out the knife. Oh, it works. There we go. Okay, we got the breech piece. The retaliator metal trigger. Plunger head. Oh, it's the uh, Recon Mark II trigger. I might use this in another thing. Because uh, I have a Recon Mark II that I have been up, I mean, meaning to upgrade. Um, got the barrel that this mates with. Um, and the whole point, the whole thing of this kit is it's sort of a, a pre made sort of sleeper breach. See how it sort of mates together perfectly there? It's not an exact seal, but once you have a dart in there, it'll kind of seal itself. And I will show that off once I do the performance testing. Uh, P.O.M. bolt sled. I'm going to have to add a thing to that for pump grip. That off there. White lithium grease, the O-rings, and the core stickers. I'm going to save that for after I've done everything I want to to this retaliator, because I am going to be putting it in a retaliator. Oh, hey! Uh, they got a, uh, a custom little hybrid system picker badge that you can put on your uh, your tactical gear. Pull that out there. And I recently gotten another patch from someone else. Uh, and yeah, let me just bring that nice and close so you can see. Really, really nice. So off to the side. Got your plunger tube, which is aluminum. And it is an expanded plunger tube, which will give you an extra bit of performance. Let's see here. Got spring. I believe that is a seven kg. So yeah, um, I have plan. I'm probably going to use the ten kilogram that was in there. Uh, with this is already in the retaliator, the orange muzzle, and oops, bump my camera. The plunger rod. I believe this is the yeah this is the uh, the cap here 
uh, and the metal catch. Just classic Orange Mod Works metal retaliator catch. And I believe that is all that's in the bag. Let me just toss that in here. Set that to the side. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get all this and install it into my good old HVZ retaliator, the UG1. Too big to fit in frame right now because of how far I have the camera from the workbench. And uh, yeah, I will get that done and uh, I'll show you the internals and we'll do some performance testing. Okay, it is installed. Uh, I did do a few small changes. I added some styrene to the trigger to just get rid of uh, some play because I don't like the stock trigger pull, especially with the heavier spring. Um, Walcom can certainly uh, agree with me. Um, I did also replace the bolt sled that originally came with it, which was black POM, with the polycarbonate worker one because I had already sunk the, um, the inserts in for the men gun pump grip. So that is perfectly fine. It's just not, it's pretty much an identical sled, um, except for the fact that the worker sled has a small divot carved out into it for the expanded plunger tube that they sell. But that's besides the point. Um, yeah. Other than that, it's just the I think it's the nine kilogram turf spring. I mean, I have the original spring here. This is a seven kilogram meant for the retaliator. But I wanted a little bit more performance, um, barrel and everything set up nicely. Also, if you have the uh, the worker sort of um, rubber like pads that are meant to catch up against the, um, the pegs that come off of the original plunder tube, um, th those will get in the way, so you need to get rid of them. That's something to keep in mind. But overall, I really like this uh, this anodized orange trigger. Uh, I did wax the barrel a little bit with some pledge, uh, just Chris Cartaya style. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get this back together fully, and I'm going to do some testing. Now one th nice thing about this kit is it is designed to fit with any barrel that you can think of on here. Uh, right now I've got the uh, inner barrel of the Maliang uh, and Yang Ma UG1 kit on here. And yeah, it, it fits perfectly fine. That 9 kg spring is quite stout, and uh, you will get a little bit of resistance, resistance um, at the beginning here, but that's because it's sealing against itself. If you're just prying fast, you won't have any issue uh, chambering. But um, they said that you would have some issues feeding something like a waffle dart. Um, if you do the waxing of the barrel, uh, Chris Cartaya style, where you use like Teflon and then layers of um, pledge to uh, apply wax, you'll have no issues. And see that chambered it flawlessly. Um, it's chambered right about here um, to basically seal that uh, gap. It is a pretty decent seal uh, on its own, but, you know, uh, if you're going to be running it still as a pistol, you'll want to put like a barrel to cover the uh, the POM, or is it ABS? I think it might still be POM. Um, the small barrel that's in here, it comes up about this far. So something like, say, this will cover it, though you will need to uh, remove the inner barrel material here because it is slightly too um, smaller inner diameter to actually fit. But uh, yeah, uh, that has some punch. Uh, here's a men gun waffle. Uh, Warren Elite. Um, got a, I think that's an E kind waffle. Still fired just as well. Uh, Adventure Force waffle that you can find at Walmart. One of my personal favorites right now. Another one of those. And let me stick a mag of worker darts in. Let me just take this, stick this in here, load this up with a couple worker darts. Yeah, that 9 kg spring is quite nice. Uh, it is a little bit stronger than the one they provide, and I usually keep springs. You know. um, I just wanted and a little extra power. Uh, it definitely isn't HVZ safe with that seven. Uh, you might be able to get away with a six kg spring um, if you're trying to keep this HVZ safe. But uh, with worker darts, it has some sting. 
Now, the um, worker darts obviously um, don't seal that gap quite as long, so it's not making as much use of the air. So if you're wanting maximum use out of your plunger tube with um, like half darts, then you'd be better off going with something like a brass breech. But this thing, out of the box, will give you really good performance. And now I'm going to put the rest of the shell back on and I'll give you my final thoughts. Yeah, and it's finally back together. Uh, final thoughts time. Sorry about the uh, changing camera angles a little bit uh, being raised and lowered. But my final thoughts. I really like this kit. I am very glad I backed this project. And hopefully they start selling this kit um, regularly now. Because this will be my new favorite retaliator kit period until something else better comes out either by orange model works or another party but for now this is the king of universal breaches <laughs> um it's basically a return of the um the it was the uh the solid stage three kit for the retaliator that had the the sealed breach or anything so it's basically the same idea but newer and a little better because it has the expandable plunger tube capacity and just stronger parts in general. I love the fact that it can fit with any kit you put onto your thing uh, as long as the barrel doesn't like um, need a smaller diameter or anything. I love the fact that it has a nice orange trigger though I think that is the uh, the picker bonus for the, uh, for the people who backed it. Um, the fact that you can use half-length darts as well as full lengths, which is which is great. Um, I think it's great for people who play HVZ like me and attend things like the SCNC and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I'll put a link down below to the uh, the project page or whatever. Or if I can find it, I'll put a link down to the um, the actual sale page if there actually is one. Um, as ever. All the relevant links down to my stuff down in the doobly-doo below. Like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.